So you're here in the hospital, and you've been here for kind of a long time. How long have you been here? Since August 7th. It's a long time to be in the hospital. That's probably maybe even worse than disease. I just can't go outside, and I live outside. It's not exactly a broken leg. I have renal failure, but I haven't been outside since. That's almost worse than being sick. When that went away, my joy kind of went away. When you think of other people being happy, you think of them being happy outside too, like somebody like Josh, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's a kid. I got no real complaints in life. I can handle this. I've done everything I pretty much wanted to do. Being 50, I had a good life. And so I'm not asking why me, but this is probably an 18-year-old kid, and they're sewing an extra sack on his stomach so he can get enough food to survive. He ought to be on the beach. He's living in the hospital, and he's got the unfair thing. He hasn't lived yet. So to me, that's what's unfair. He's a kid. He's a really happy-go-lucky guy, but he also has mood swings where he'll be in pain and just start venting, which he has every right to be. But I just can't imagine being like 17 or 18 where this is his lot in life for who knows how long, and he hasn't had the experience of going out and having fun. And that hurts me because that's unfair, I think. So what have you been able to do that you feel like is helpful? Just like that one day when he was really down and nothing, he was crying a lot and and nothing was helping, and I drew a picture for him. I tried to make it like a Russell, it still came out bad, but like a Russell Crowe type of guy that said, hey, Josh, this is what you're going to look like in five years. Just keep looking at this picture. You're going to make it out of here, and you're a warrior. You're going to fight through this, and when you're down, look at it, and you're going to make it. And I don't know if it's crap, but if it helps him even one iota, then I did some for him. That's enough seems like this experience of being sick is making you feel incredibly connected. I call this a gift. I can feel good for five minutes. I'll take it. I'm thankful. I would take the pain for it. It's worth it. I mean, I'm alone in this world, basically. So I need a sense of purpose. It's up to me to deal compassion to someone else. So I can do that. If that's my job, I'll do it. And that was the greatest. I could make it through today. I mean, I could make it through today knowing I did something good. But... That's one guy. Tomorrow, I got I to do somebody else tomorrow. Mm-hmm.